so heartwarming and great. So thank you so much for being here. And we're here to celebrate the movie and Emily Higgins and also the Back from Bleeding Skull Blu-ray release, which is coming out on March 29th. Uh, cannot wait about that. So you get to see it first. So it's really nice that you're here. So here are the facts about Pathogen. Uh, this movie was conceived by Emily Higgins when she was 12 years old and completed when she was 15 years old. Um, and that's correct, it was made by a child. You were watching a movie that was made by a child, which means you can't kind of approach this movie the way you would a normal movie. Like if you were here last week for Jason X and you know you saw Jason blast off into space, high octane action, he's freezing people's faces and clubbing their heads off. Um, you're not gonna see that here tonight um, because this movie is more of kind of like, you know, it's made by a teenager. So it kind of focuses on what kids do. And what kids do is that they go to school, they have snacks, they watch TV, uh, they give each other side eye quite a bit, there's a ton of drama, and they fight zombies, they battle zombies, which is what happens in this movie. And it's not just any old zombies in this movie, there's a toddler zombie, there's a peewee zombie that's about this big in the movie, which I think is a cinematic first. I've never seen that in another zombie movie in my life. Um, so there's this really rich tradition of shot on video horror made by teenagers and kids starting all the way back in the late 70s. There's movies like Splatter Farm by Mark and John Polonia. Uh, there's a movie called Blood Brothers by Mike Diana, which in Blood Brothers, there are like 10 year old kids in that doing rails of fake coke in the beginning of the movie. And it's incredible. And you know, stuff like that, like you can't be beat because that's why you watch it because kids are doing outrageous things. But Pathogen is different from every other shot on video movie I've ever seen made by a kid because uh, there is a focus in Pathogen on actual craft of making a movie. There's a focus on editing. There's a lot of effort that went into storytelling and cohesiveness and actually making a, peop a movie that normal people could watch, which is unlike Blood Brothers and, and you know, the Pony Brothers. Um, so it's kind of miles above anything that was happening in the 2000s in, for, in terms of shot on video horror. And it's yeah, definitely miles above most of the things that were made by grown ass adults during that time, which is kind of amazing when you watch the movie. Um, but this movie has everything you want from a zombie movie. There's decapitations, there's switch bid fights, there's uh, eyeball gouging. But um, there's also a really special quality about this because it comes from a, a very endearing perspective that can only originate from a teenager. And at the core of the movie, there's a story of empathy and friendship, which you never get in Blood Brothers when there's kids doing rails of coke. Like, nothing like that in that movie. But you get that in this, and that's why I think it's a really special movie. Um, but obviously, like, I love the movie. Agfa and Bleeding Skull are releasing it. We love it, all of us. All of us at Agfa are so in love with this movie. And um, that's obvious, but I want to share why I really love it and why I think this movie is really important. Um, because I think it, when things are tough in life, especially right now, the world is tough right now. You know, we made it almost through this pandemic, and now there's chaos everywhere in the world, and people are being mean to each other. It's really easy to overlook the good stuff in life when things are bad. You know, it's really easy to do that. And um, movies like Pathogen kind of remind us about the joy and enthusiasm of life, because when you watch it, it's so inspiring that someone actually did this when they were a kid. And it reminds you that not everything in the world is horrible, and it's like it feels good to watch it. Um, because it's something I believe that we desperately need right now. We need Pathogen. It's like really good timing that we're watching this movie now. And it's like, you know, I don't have to go home tonight and like pop a Valium or a Conopin because I just watch Pathogen and I'm going to be so happy and feel so good about it. So that is the power of this movie. It's like regenerates everything you believe in in life that is good and passionate and joyful. And that's why it feels so good when you watch it. So on that note, um, we are very excited tonight to actually have the filmmaker here in attendance, Emily Higgins. And right now, I would like you to put your hand together and welcome Emily please up to the stage right now give her a big round of applause scared you guys would show up and be like, that's not a child, and I'm not a kid anymore. <laughs> but uh, this was made when we were kids, and um, I just want to say I hope you really enjoy it. Feel free to laugh along with the movie. I didn't want to take myself too seriously as a as a filmmaker, because I knew I was a kid at the time, but I did some things, you know, in, in earnest, like, oh, this could be, like, really scary, and, you know, you might be laughing at it now. So I'm just hoping you enjoy it uh, for what it is, and have fun, and... Uh, yeah, that's kind, of, that's kind of it. But I mean, I was just hoping, like, oh, no one's like making fun of the movie because we were kids. So just have fun, but not like too much fun. You know? <laughs> <laughs> right Thank you. 
And don't worry, no one is going to make fun of your movie tonight. Absolutely. We will not allow it, right? Right. Woo! Okay. Woo! okay, so as usual, we have a very strict no talking, no texting policy, and it's especially important tonight that you don't interrupt Emily's movie. So please be respectful and do not talk and do not text. Um, if anyone is interrupting your enjoyment of the movie, please write it down on a piece of paper, place it really in front of you, and a manager will take care of that problem. Please tip generously tonight as much as you can. We'd appreciate that very much. And um, Emily, are you ready to watch this movie for the first time in like 15 years in a theater full of people? Unreal. <laughs> <laughs> are you all stoked to watch Pathogen? Let's go! Okay. We're going to go ahead and watch the movie, and then afterwards we're going to be back up here with Emily for a Q&A. So